after the Universe 6 tournament, the Saiyans continue to train on Earth, with Tarbul hanging out with his nephew Trunks more and more each day, with Trunks showing him all the cool gadgets and new moves he's come up with. Trunks also shows Tarbul the power of Gotenks, and Fusion is still relatively new to Tarbul, and he trains with Gotenks so they can both get some good increases in power. One day, a familiar time machine returns, and the group go to check it out, only to find a man who looks like Tarbul emerge from the machine. Everybody is extremely confused, and the man who looks like Tarbul stares at Vegeta in wonder, and breaks down crying that he's actually made into the past. Future Tarbul tells them that a horrible creature named Goku Black has arrived in their time, and is destroying most of their city. Boma asks Future Tarbul where Trunks is, and Tarbul tells her that he is busy holding off Goku Black in the future. You see, in this future, Tarbul landed on Earth to warn others about Avo and Kado, but he only found Trunks and Mai, instead of his brother and his friends. Tarbul is shocked to learn that Trunks is Vegeta's son, and that Vegeta has died a long time ago. Luckily, Trunks was able to easily kill Avo and Kado, and after seeing how strong Trunks was, and how messed up this future still is, Tarbul decides he's going to stay here and train with his nephew and rebuild the future. That was until Goku Black showed up and started wrecking havoc upon Earth, and even Trunks, the strongest warrior on Earth, couldn't do anything against him. While hiding out, Trunks told Tarbul that the only option they have is to go into the past and get the help of his father and Goku. Tarbul would be excited that he gets to see his brother again, but Trunks tells Tarbul that Black won't exactly let them go into the past, so Trunks is going to hold Black off long enough for Tarbul to go and warn everybody from 17 years ago. Tarbul is reluctant to leave Trunks behind, but Trunks tells him it's the only choice they have or Black will destroy everything. Tarbul reluctantly agrees, and Trunks holds off Black while Tarbul escapes into the past. Vegeta is very concerned that Trunks may be dead, and yells at his future brother that he was a coward for not staying and fighting. Our present Tarbul would step in between them and tell his brother that it was the only choice he had, or they all would have died. And also, he was afraid himself to fight Frieza, and he understands where his future self is coming from. Tarbul asks his future self if he can become a Super Saiyan Blue, and the future Tarbul just says that he can't even become a Super Saiyan yet. Tarbul then explains to Vegeta that if he did stay and try to help Trunk, then he would most likely get himself killed, so it wouldn't be worth it at all. Vegeta says that he is going to train the future Tarbul, just like how he trained the present one before they go to face Goku Black in the future. So, Vegeta goes off to train with the two Tarbuls. Not too long after, Black arrives from the future and stares down Future Tarbo, laughing on how he managed to let one escape. Tarbo asks Black what happened to Trunks, and Black just laughs and says he finally managed to kill that filthy Saiyan once and for all, along with that disgusting wife of his. Future Tarbo explodes in rage and instantly transforms into a Super Saiyan, launching himself at Goku Black. And this catches Black off guard, and he's beaten around for a few minutes before Black just laughs and knocks Tarbo away. Suddenly, Vegeta and present Tarbul rush up to Black, both in blue, enraged that he has killed Trunks and Gear, and the two begin to pummel him to the ground, with Black not being able to counter whatsoever. The two Saiyan brothers prepare a sibling Gallic gun and fire it at Black, erasing him from existence. Yep, Goku Black is dead right off the bat. Even though he is defeated, future Tarbul is distraught that his wife and nephew have been killed, and he breaks down. Goku tries to comfort Future Tarbul, and says that maybe Black was bluffing and they're still alive in the future. This makes Future Tarbul a little hopeful, and once the time machine is refueled, the two Tarbuls, along with Goku and Vegeta, head to the future to see if Trunks and Gear are still alive. Unfortunately, they can't sense their energies, so it seems they really have been killed. In fact, they can only sense one energy on the planet, and it's coming right for them. Zamasu appears before the Saiyans, and after seeing their time machine, he comes to the conclusion that they traveled from the past, and they have most likely already killed Black. Zamasu is furious that his doppelganger failed, and he attacks the Saiyans. Goku fights off Zamasu, and he's able to hold his own in Super Saiyan 2 pretty well, until he finds out that Zamasu isn't tiring out at all, so he transforms into God and blasts a hole through Zamasu, which instantly heals itself. Zamasu gloats on how they can't kill him because he's immortal, and Goku is just going to tire himself out. Goku realizes that Zamasu is right, and they can't win this, and he comes up with an idea. Goku switches off with Vegeta, and tells him to hold off Zamasu until he comes back, which is confusing for Vegeta, but there really isn't any other option at this point. So Goku heads off to the time machine, except he doesn't know how to work it, so Future Tarbul goes in with him, and they return to the present, while the two Saiyan brothers hold off Zamasu. Of course, Zamasu would have a great toll on his mental health after almost dying and then coming back so many times so he would escape and try to come up with another plan for the time being, as Vegeta and Tarbul are off looking for him. A few hours later, Goku and Future Tarbul return, and Zamasu immediately senses their return, and goes after them in a surprise attack. Goku senses this, however, and knocks Zamasu away. Then, Goku immediately unleashes the Mafuba, and seals Zamasu away. Future Tarbul runs up and puts the seal on, and Zamasu is successfully sealed away. 
See, when future Tarbo learned the past of Goku, he would be able to remind Goku to take the seal with him, as it is very important. Once the Masu is sealed away and the Zero Mortals plan is thwarted, the group asks future Tarbo what he's going to do now. This is a difficult decision for him, as everybody on his Earth is dead, so there would be no point in trying to rebuild. He decides that he's going to go and stay in the past with his brother and the others to try and find a new life there. So, the Saiyans return to the past once again and tell Beerus about Zamasu, and he destroys him as normal. Future Tarbul attempts to get used to being in the past, and though it's hard for him to see his present self happy with gear, he realizes he has to move on, and he also trains himself with Goten and Trunks, as he enjoys being around a much younger version of his nephew. Plus, he also wants to train Trunks up so he doesn't suffer the same fate as his future self. Eventually, Goku goes to Zeno to suggest a tournament of power, and the Zen exhibition match plays out as normal, with Tarbul replacing Boo. After the exhibition match, they need to gather 10 warriors. So far, they have Goku, Gohan, and Tarbul, and after Whis allows Bra to be born early, Vegeta joins in. Tarbul suggests Goten and Trunks, since they've gotten much stronger through training with himself, and also his future self. Plus, if worse comes to worse, they could fuse into Gotenks and become way more powerful. Goku agrees with this, and says maybe they can get future Tarbul to join as well, since he's pretty strong. Tarbul wonders if Zeno will allow somebody from the future, so Goku quickly goes to ask him. And Zeno, of course, thinks it would be fun to see a future fighter, so he allows it. Gohan also recruits Piccolo, while Goku convinces Krillin and Android 18 to join, and we have our full Universe 17. There is no need to revive Frieza, as they have plenty of backup fighters just in case. Plus, everybody would be against it anyways. Once the tournament starts, there's way too much to cover, so I'm just gonna focus on the main points. For starters, Frost would want revenge against Tarbo, and he accidentally goes to fight the future Tarbo, who is much weaker but still holding his own somewhat. Except he is suddenly knocked out by one punch that really shouldn't have knocked him out, and he's thrown out of the ring. Except immediately, future Tarbo is brought back in, and Frost is erased by Zeno. The entire tournament is in shock at what just happened. The Grand Priest said he noticed that Frost was cheating by using a weapon against his opponent. So Frost was destroyed, and Future Tarbo was brought back in. Champa is obviously very angry that Frost wasn't exactly the nicest person after all, and he almost got their universe destroyed early by cheating. Future Tarbo then decides to stick with his present self for team attacks, and Goten and Trunks do the same, sticking together and fighting off the weaker fighters. The Universe 6 Saiyans are also extremely weaker than normal, due to them not being able to learn Super Saiyan. See, told you Kaba not learning it would have serious repercussions on the tournament. They're not the weakest there, but of course not the strongest either, so they would most likely be knocked out pretty easily. Hit and the others would still fall to Jiren, so Universe 6 would be eliminated much faster than usual. Eventually, Krillin falls to the invisible fighter from Universe 4, but 18 and Piccolo would be able to sense them and knock them out as well. Goku would still get the Ultra Instinct sign against Jiren, but this time he can't exactly be healed since Frieza isn't there to give him any energy. But luckily, Goten and Trunks catch Goku, and they know he's the strongest of them all, so they're going to help him get back on his feet. The two fuse into Gotenks and give Goku some of their power, and Gotenks goes on a rampage to defeat many of the fighters. Gotenks' Super Ghost Kamikaze attack would surely be enough to get a lot of people eliminated. Gotenks is even able to knock out Paparoni and the others before they can even become Anilaza. Gotenks then transforms into Super Saiyan 3 to battle the Pride Troopers, and even though the Pride Troopers work very well as a team, Gotenks is able to maul through them all. That is until Dispo comes in and is able to match with Gotenks pretty well. Luckily, Gohan comes in to help, and the two of them manage to defeat Dispo. Vegeta and the Tarbuls go against Topo, and the future Tarbul is easily knocked out by Topo, while the Saiyan brothers try to fight him off. Two Super Saiyan Blues is a lot for Topo to handle, and he manages to transform into his God of Destruction mode much earlier than normal. Vegeta and Tarbul get beaten around, and even when Gohan and Gotenks step in to help, it's not enough. This is when Goku tries to use the energy Gotenks gave him to use, and he is able to summon the Ultra Instinct sign again, and fight it out with the G.O.D. Topo, and manages to defeat him. Finally, the last opponent standing is Jiren, and the remaining Universe 7 warriors do their best to fight him off. Gotenks is able to annoy him the most with his Kamikaze Ghost, and while he's distracted, Vegeta and Tarbo launch their most powerful attacks. With so many opponents coming at him at once, Jiren unleashes his full power and knocks out Gotenks and Gohan with ease. Seeing his friends beaten so brutally, Tarbul explodes and unleashes a new power, Super Saiyan Blue, Evolution. Blue Evolution Tarbul fights with Jiren, and while this transformation makes Tarbul extremely powerful, he is still no match for Jiren. Before he is knocked out, Vegeta catches Tarbul and quickly escapes with him. Jiren is about to chase after them when Goku appears in front of him and knocks him away. As Tarbul is fighting Jiren, Vegeta managed to find Goku and give him more energy, and now Goku has been able to tap into the Mastered Ultra Instinct form. Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku battles Jiren like in canon, and Goku still falls after Ultra Instinct gives out, and Jiren is able to knock him out of the ring. Except, a figure appears behind Goku before he falls and catches him. 
Vegetarbo puts Goku down and says that he's now going to take care of Jiren. Before the tournament, Shin gave Tarbo the Potara earrings to use since he knew Goku and Vegeta wouldn't accept them, and Tarbo is saving them for later just in case they really needed them. And since Goku was defeated and Jiren is extremely weakened, he gave the Potara to his brother so they could hold out until the last second. Vegetarbo powers up instantly to Blue Evolution and begins pummeling Jiren, and since Jiren was severely weakened by MUI Goku, Blue Evolution Vegetarbo is able to successfully knock Jiren out of the ring and win the tournament. With Vegetarbo the MVP for knocking out Jiren, he wishes for the rest of the universes to be restored, and the tournament is finished. The Z Fighters return to Earth, and the planet is peaceful for a time, and there is no Broly movie since Frieza wasn't brought back for the tournament. So, we're gonna leave it right here now, before Moro shows up. Hope you guys enjoyed this what if, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till we meet again.